Hi everybody, I am back and excuse me if I have to speak kind of quietly, it's getting late. My husband's in bed and tomorrow's my test. Um, I'm allergic to the dye. I know this kind of has nothing to do with the review I'm going to do, but I figured I would explain why I'm up so late, or as late he would call it late. Uh, they gave me steroids to take. Well, steroids do the opposite or whatever. I am wired. And I'm drinking coffee, so that helps it a lot too. So I figured, hey, I might as well get on do a review. Excuse the bed behind me, decided to rip it apart. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I think I'm going to go out and buy a whole set, new set of furniture. I cannot stand this stuff on the floor anymore. There's, I think, if you, I've shown you guys the bath products on the floor. Um, I probably have double that in makeup, and I'm not bragging. I mean, boxes. I just found a, a box of OPI nail polish. Didn't even know I had. I mean, it's, it's, I have boxes that are, and it's a beautiful color. I mean, I wasn't even going to review this. It's, it's a beautiful color. It's like a mint green with like chunks. I'm like, where did that come from? It must have come out of a box. I'm sure I reviewed it at some point. Anyway, so I was going to do a quick review from Macy's. My husband's birthday's coming up. So it's, of course, it's a men's review. And then I have a piece of clothing that I bought for myself. So I figured while well, I'm up, I might as well do a review. Excuse the bed behind me. I'm going to take care of that in the morning. Out there, it doesn't look so good. But anyway, I cannot take these bath products on the floor anymore. It's just driving me crazy. And the makeup products, I mean, just you guys have no idea. No, I mean, look, just boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of makeup. I mean, just for an example, this is all brand new. Some of it's been reviewed, none of it's been reviewed. I don't have a clue what's in there. But yeah, I've got to get some organization here. Maybe it's just the steroids. I don't know. But yeah, I think that's what it is. So, yeah. Here's another box full of brand new yeah as you can see all box I mean you should I can't even sit at my vanity to put my makeup on because there's so many products piled piled on it I will have to get my camera out tomorrow and show you the sheer quantity of this insaneness it's crazy nobody in a lifetime can wear this much makeup but then when I tell my husband I'm out of foundation he's like how how could that be possible? I, I don't know, but it, it happens once in a while. Anyway, let me get on with this review and quit yakking. So, I think I've reviewed this cologne before. It is awesome from Macy's. Um, he loves it. It smells fabulous. I didn't look the notes up. Um, but I know that it smells wonderful. Women go nuts over this. I'm trying to be quiet. Here's the bag. I totally forgot. I had it tucked behind my vanity. And yeah. So I got him got I got him a 6.7 ounce bottle of this. Now that is twice the normal size. Normally they come in a 3.4 ounce. So I got him a a double size bottle because he's going through this cologne like crazy. Let me get it out of the bag quietly. It's not going to happen. I might as well just yank it out. Okay, so here it is. Look at the size of this bottle. Is it not huge or what? It's the Calvin Klein Dark Obsession and it smells fabulous. And all of a sudden it got really bright in here. I'm not quite sure why. Anyway, so let me take it out of the box. So his birthday is the 7th of next month. And I usually start buying him stuff a couple months before and just stockpiling it. Anyway, so I think I got this for 
I don't know, I'll have to look at the receipt, but this is so heavy, oh my goodness, dark obsession, he goes through bottles of this like it is water, it smells fabulous, it smells like tobacco, it smells like, of course I say every man's, every men's cologne smells like tobacco, but look at the size of this bottle, it is stinking huge, I don't know if you can see the ounces, no, it is 6.7 ounces, so a normal bottle is 3.4, yeah, crazy, I thought he will never run out of this, but he will. Don't tell me it doesn't spray. It smells very, very spicy. Uh, give me a second to let it dry down. Um, I can smell like vetiver, uh, oak moss. Um, smells dries down just really spicy and it holds all day when he wears this. He can wear it and shower the next day, and I swear I can still smell it on him. This stuff is fabulous. I would suggest this for any man, and if a woman didn't like it, she'd be crazy. It smells fabulous. So I don't have the professional notes. I can edit them in later, but I would suggest just even go to the counter and try it. It's a high-end, so it would be at Macy's, wherever, a high-end store. Um, here's the box. It came in. It came with a deodorant. He does not like deodorants. He insists he has to wear the 24-7. I don't think he even needs deodorant, but that's just me. But anyway, so it came with a deodorant. The box is really scratched up. Not happy about that, considering what I paid for it. Anyway, here's the deodorant. It's a 2.6 deodorant stick, so usually we'll like split it up and give it for a gift at Christmas or something. He won't use that, but we'll probably just take the box out and give him the box with the cologne in that. It is just really scratched up, so um, there's that. It doesn't have the notes on the back, and then here are some of the... Here are some of the new launch and older launch products. There's an Eternity, Aqua, there's Euphoria, there's Obsession, which I don't really like, and then the end one is just the plain Eternity. These are the Calvin Klein brands. So um, the Eternity Aqua and the uh, Euphoria he has, and those are fabulous also. So let me get a price for this, um, just to give you an idea what a 6.7 ounce costs. Um, and then this should be dried down. I need to get this wrap before he finds it. <sighs> it's crazy. Yeah, of course it's not listed anywhere. Yeah, back of the box, nothing. But here's the front of the box. You can see the corner where it says 6.7. And there's 200. Come on, Dana. Wake up here. 6.7 ounces. Crazy. So, yeah, is that not the biggest bottle you've ever seen? Yeah. But it dries down. And you would think, it, I don't think I sprayed enough on. But I didn't want to douse myself. Because if I went to bed smelling like this, he'd say, why do you have my obsession on? I'd say, um... I don't know, just for the heck of it. So yeah, that would be a clean giveaway. So anyway, uh, just smells really, really clean, spicy, and um, I can smell a touch of tobacco, and I swear there's oak moss in it. And I know that I've reviewed it before in the past because I always buy him this. I bought it for him at Christmas. He's out of that bottle already. That's what? four months he's went through a bottle of 3.4 ounce well I went through four bottles of juice of Jimmy Choo so that's not bad since Christmas but anyway so there's that um, sorry I can't give you the professional notes I can just give you my view on it it's fabulous and let me get a price real quick without waking him up um, price tag okay so this 
the obsession. Wow. So that for the 6.7 ounce, it was $89. That is insane for for twice the size of a 3.4 ounce. And they weren't happy. Macy's wasn't having a scent event or anything. So yeah, that's a really good price. I would suggest for all men to get out and at least smell it. If you don't like it, let me know because I would be shocked. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, I will get the professional scent notes and edit those in tomorrow. It's still holding. It's crazy. But anyway, I barely put a little bit on my arm. So there's that. And then I picked these up for myself. These are from a different store. Balm. Um, B-O-H-M-E. I will link that down below. These are... I don't really like capris, but I have a lot of these pants with the glass buttons. They're really cute. They look like this. I like the white stitching. Um, what size are they? They're size 1. Oh boy, we're moving up in the world from a 0 to a 1. They're probably going to be baggy. And I won't be able, I don't know if I'll be able to wear jeans or shorts with my hips all chewed up, but we shall see. Anyway, with the glass buttons, you have to wash them inside out, as I found with the $100 pair of shorts, because all the buttons were broken when I dried them. So, there's the front. They are capris. I don't really like the bottoms of them, but they're cute. My mom said they were cute, so we shall see. Um, I guess on a colder summer day it'd be cute, but when it's 90 degrees out, I really don't think I'll be wearing these. This is what they look like in the back. They're really cute. You just, I think these kind of jeans are really busy, so they look better with like a t-shirt. You know, just like a white t-shirt. And just keep it simple on the top part, because if you wear something too much, the back pockets and you know it's just gonna look too crazy but yeah I think they're darling really cute so these were 50 56.50 you can see the tag so that's not bad um, I think that's about what I paid for the jeans so I have two pairs of made by LA Idol as you can see here and I will link the store down below, Bohm, B-O-M-H-E. And they have a website you can get on that. That's where I got my black boots. My husband doesn't really like the store because they don't have a good return policy or they don't have a return policy. So when you buy it, it's yours. So there's that. It was lurking around the corner and it's been there for a while. I was going to review it and forgot. So I figured, well, what the heck, might as well since I'm wide awake. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, sorry about not having the professional scent notes on the Obsession, but for $89, that is insane. I think I bought it two weeks ago. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was, a, yeah, two weeks ago. $89. That's crazy. That's about what they would charge for a normal um, 3.4 ounce size. So, anyway, and that actually, there's a catalog. The Secret Garden. So, yeah, the Dolis and Gabbana is the next one I want to try. It comes with a little rose on the top and it's green colored. I can't show, the, show you the catalog. I'm sure most people that have a Macy's card got the catalog in the mail and it was on the very front page but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this I will upload it and uh, sorry I didn't get Abby uploaded she wasn't feeling good I do have her on film so maybe I will edit edit it tomorrow she looks so sweet I just didn't want to put her on I put her in a little dress she looks so cute anyway I hope you guys all had a great Easter I will upload this suggest all you men go out and at least smell this dark obsession by Calvin Klein. It is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And then for the women, I will link the bone if you like these. I like the front. I would prefer the back pockets weren't so crazy. I just like the white stitching in the front. I just think the back's a little bit crazy. So I just tend to wear a white t-shirt. Oh, and I was going to do a outfit of the day. I wore my 
my Levi's, my leather pants today. So let me show you that. And then I will sign off. So I had this sweater on. It got hot, so I just tied it around my waist. So let me adjust this. Here's what the bottom looks like. So yeah, they fit perfect. Um, I know that's crazy with the laptop. I've got to get a mirror. And then from the back, they fit perfect. So and then I just wore these shoes. Just um, I didn't want to wear boots with them. They fit perfect. So and that's what I wore. So yeah, I love them. They're fabulous. It's too bad that I missed wearing them this winter. I had, well, I haven't had them that long. So anyway, um, now that summer's coming along, they're lying and they're really, really warm. One of my subscribers, it, actually it's a man, he said that he has a pair and he was a little worried about wearing them, but he said that, you know, they're warm and they look really good on men too, and I'm, I'm sure they probably do, so I just wore um, like a lace tank top underneath and just a, like a see-through white blouse that you can you know, button up the sleeves. And then I wore a pink, hot pink sweater, and I got hot, so I just tied it around the waist. So yeah, I thought they looked really cute. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to start doing some wacky videos, like what's in your fridge. My fridge is packed. I think I have three gallons of milk in there. Yeah, so i probably planning on being up all night, being that I'm on steroids because of the long story. So yeah. I will upload this. I will maybe think of another video. Otherwise, I should probably wash my makeup off and go to bed. Anyway, we shall see. So, hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you all later. Have a good evening. Happy Easter. And stay safe. Sub, sub, sub. Bye.